campers. Hey, campers. I'm Mark. I mean, <laughs> she's <laughs> not Mark. <laughs> I'm Larita. This is Mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, woo. and we are adventure <laughs> is uncertainty. Yeah, that's a good way to get this one started. Uh, laugh at ourselves. All right. So uh, we wanted to take the time to give you a short introduction to ourselves. Uh, go over the thought process. We've had a few questions about why in the world did you buy such a small camper? And then uh, you discuss some pros and cons of that that we see as new small camper owners. And then uh, maybe go over some briefly the details of the camper, some of our future plans for the camper, and just some of our future plans camping in general. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. we do have a script today because we can't seem to stay on topic and we ramble a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to try to <laughs> streamline this just a wee bit. Okay. So why did we get back into camping? Uh, we bought a smart TV. Of all things, <laughs> we bought a bigger smart TV. Uh, I like watching college football in the fall and we bought one. And then our son-in-law said, oh, you know that's a smart TV. You can watch YouTube. I said, I don't ever watch YouTube. And, <laughs> well, he showed us how easy it was, and we canceled the cable, and we mainly watch YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's addictive. It is. Um, so why are we doing a YouTube channel? Well, Lord, we... if I know. No, oh, I'll excuse me. <laughs> we have um, so many friends and people asking us, you know, about where we're going next and they want to know about our adventures and uh, places that we've been. They like to see our pictures and our videos. And so we thought, well, or I did, I thought, well, let's just try, you know, putting them on YouTube and that way share them, sharing our adventures with everybody. So that's what we're doing. And I'm still I'm, not convinced anybody would want to watch an old man from South Alabama. But, but if you do like our video, Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. <laughs> okay. Um, so the thought process of buying a mini camper, a teardrop, an off-road trailer, whatever you want to call this thing, uh, a wee roll. Uh, we had many conversations about it. We're still having conversations. Mm -hmm. We went back and forth. Uh, yeah, I mean... Again, our son-in-law got us into uh, watching YouTube. Mm -hmm. One of the first videos we found was Kelly and Cody with Dome Life. Life is our favorite. We, we <laughs> watched them religiously. We replay their videos. We we follow them on several media outlets. Yes. Uh, and we enjoy it. We again, we had a, a camper years ago. Mm -hmm. We didn't use it that much, but we had one, mm -hmm. and we forgot how much we enjoyed it. Uh, she said I needed a hobby, so we... <laughs> so here we are. Yeah, so here we are. Um, so there's uh, some of the things that seem to be the topics of our conversation was, well, maybe we could just three-season tent camp. I mean, we did spend 28 nights in our Gazelle T4 Plus from mid-September to mid-May. Mm -hmm. uh, we loved it. Yes. We would do more of it if it wasn't... Hot, hot, humid, hot, hot, humidity, humidity. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's miserable. humid. And it's just like, even if you go up north, it's still humid at a lot of places. So. So, down here in the south on the Gulf Coast, it is miserable to try to tent camp right now. It's, <laughs> it's pretty hot in this garage. We've got the door shut because... People are out there... Uh, weed not, eating, yeah, leaf things. blowing, mm -hmm. uh, jets are flying yeah, over. Yeah, we live near an airport. So. <laughs> yeah, it's, so we close all the garage doors just to try to keep the the sound background noise up. So, so anyway, uh, as much as we enjoy our tent camping and enjoy camping in general, we we couldn't give up camping during the summer. We we looked at renting uh, some cabins occasionally. Uh, yes, uh, that's rather difficult right now. I don't know if you've tried looking for something like that, but it's it's hard to find. Campgrounds are hard to find right now, but yeah. cabins seem to be even harder because not everyone wants to go tent camping like us in right. the heat of the summer. And then a lot of people don't want to camp in tents or have RVs or whatever. Okay. 
So that proved to be hard to find, uh, proved to be quite expensive when you did find them. So we were just, we haven't been camping since mid-May. And we miss it. We definitely <laughs> miss ready. it. We're ready to get out, get away. Um, All right, so that was part of our thoughts process. And then, so a full-size camper, the, the cost of a purchase of a full-size camper can be anywhere from 50000 to 150000 even more than that. So, um, and also trying to find a place to store it. Um, most of the year, we, we're only camping maybe one to two weeks out of the year. And then on the weekends, but to find a place to store it now, it's kind of hard around here. We don't have anywhere to store it here. So. Yeah, we live in a subdivision and there's no HOA, but our slot size is rather small and we, we just couldn't put a 28 30 foot travel trailer a year or an mm -hmm. rv or so yeah. we, we, we would have to find a place to store it right and the cost of the insurance i don't know i haven't looked into it so i don't know i'm sure it's probably i've looked into it briefly it, it can be expensive uh and then again you're just paying for that 365 days out of the year when we're not going to use it and you're that much yeah. so. so and then the teardrops um, we looked at several makes and models, and one of my favorites was the Intech, but they range anywhere from two to six times more than the Wii Roll that we bought. So, yeah, I mean, I looked at off-road campers, and uh, I think they're pretty cool. <laughs> They've got a lot of interesting features, but yeah, some of those were 45 k or more for something basically this size with maybe a little more off-road capability than this, but uh, yeah, it was, it was extremely expensive for an off-road top of the line teardrop. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're gonna cut this part out. Okay. All right, uh, the next thing was storage. With the teardrop, we can store it. It's in our garage. It, we don't have to pay for a place to store it. We don't have to park it in the side yard. It's out of sight, and right now we have it in here so we can do some work on it. We've already started trying to make it ours. Right, and we'll um, make a video on some of it, and we'll link it or put it, you know, when we get done. Okay. The next thing. Uh, lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so <laughs> he's been watching a lot of YouTube channels on overlanding, which is cool because I never even thought about, you know, on his Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some YouTube channels I, I really enjoy. I, I, I don't have permission to name them, so I'm not going to, but, but they, uh, there are several channels with couples our age or even mm -hmm. a little older. They, they travel in a group of two to three couples usually. Yeah. They go out um, forest service or national forest, traveling forest service roads, state parks. They'll go out for a weekend, 10 days. They disperse camp a lot. Uh, I really enjoy that. I think I would like that lifestyle. I enjoy those videos. I would like to move in that direction more, at least in the short term, while we still have that ability to to do that lifestyle right. uh, the teardrops uh they're they're more mobile yeah with the camper you wouldn't be able to go out and do these things that he's wanting to do you yeah you'd you take know. a bigger vehicle right. it would, which we have the 2500 that's one reason we bought the 2500 right but it would take a bigger vehicle to to do that and then just trying to pull a 25 30 foot travel trailer down some of these uh Forest service roads would be almost impossible, really difficult. And to have something that's just easy to set up and just, you know, you just pull it up and um, get it level and that's it. And everything's already in it. And yeah, we wanted to be more mobile for yeah. sure. We wanted to have more options to camp. We want to move, <laughs> we wanna move, especially during the winter and fall when the weather's nicer. We want to move more into dispersed camping mm -hmm. and hopefully this allows us to do that. We did a little bit recently when we were in, uh, on our oh, trip yeah. out west. And we, we went to the Big Iron Overland uh, rally. rally. And it was awesome. It was fun too. We really enjoyed that. Yes. Uh, so 
again, all this was in our thought process. We, mm -hmm. we went back and forth on it and uh, we eventually found WeRo on uh, YouTube, on the internet. We saw it on several sites, really. And we talked to them, but there was a waiting list and things worked out where this opportunity became available and we just couldn't resist it. Wow. So, so here it is. <laughs> yeah, here's our We Roll. So um, we want to talk about a few of the features of the We Roll that interest us. There's maybe some more that, that might interest you. You guys might mm -hmm. have questions. Feel free to ask. We, we're not experts. We've owned this thing a week. Uh, but we'll definitely try to uh, get you some information on ours. It may not be the one that you purchased, but we'll get you s some specifics on this one if it helps. Okay. Um, so one, uh, one of the things we like that it, it was already insulated. So we didn't have to insulate it or do anything like that. It's also wired for 110 and 12 volts. Yeah, it's, it's fairly lightweight. Mm -hmm. Jeep, guys, we need a Jeep. We, <laughs> so it's lightweight. You can tow it with, with smaller vehicles. You don't have to have oh. the 2500. I mean, the 2500 is obviously overkill for this thing because I think the gross vehicle weight on this is about 2,900 pounds, fully loaded. We're not going to reach that. And you can put an AC in it. We, we put the air conditioner in last night. It fits great. It works well. He's gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, that's gotta be better than tent camping in August in Alabama. Yes. So, uh, it just, hopefully once we get it built out, again, we wanna try to keep this thing lightweight, simple, simple. but functional, definitely yes. functional. We, we've got to a point where we won't function over, over form, over beauty, over, yeah. We want it to be where we can just pull up our kitchen is basically set up. Yes. I mean, we may have to pop up a table and a tent, but that, or not a tent, but an awning. Awning, yes. And that's it. Uh, we wanted to keep that pretty simple. We don't uh, want to have to load a bunch of totes. And, yeah. Um, we want everything to just be in there. Or with the tent and stuff, um, it takes sometimes 45 to an hour just to load everything up in the truck and then when we get there, it takes that long to unload. Um, so this, hopefully, we can just pull up. Yeah. You know, yeah. The, she can drop in a photo here, I hope, and show you the truck, the truck when we load it up to go to Oklahoma, Kansas. Yeah. We've got a 2500 HD. It's got a six and a half foot bed. <laughs> We've got a construction topper on it. There is... I. I'm a numbers guy. There's approximately 128 cubic foot of storage mm -hmm. in that, and we pretty much maxed it out. Yeah. So, but we're again, we were going we for 11 count, days. We don't camp. <laughs> well, we camp, but we don't rough it for sure. We definitely blimp. I mean, we've already we're going to have seven inches of memory foam bedding in this before. We're <laughs> it's going to be comfortable. It's going to be comfortable. Uh, we've already got that ordered and it'll be here shortly yes. yeah, yeah so oh uh, and this is just short term because when we retire we are going to buy an rv camper yeah. or something we're not for sure exactly what yet but we're hoping to keep this journey of camping and traveling and all that um as we get older if you don't so, mind I'm back up a minute on the uh the the ease of loading and unloading this thing. Oh, okay. Uh, when we were on our trip in Oklahoma, Kansas, uh, there was days where we would get up, cook breakfast, break down camp, load everything up, travel six hours, which is a bit extreme, but we would do that because there were places we wanted to go. Yeah. And, then, and then get there, unload stuff again, set up, I, it made for long days on those travel days. And there were days that, honestly, I just didn't want to move any more totes. I had moved all the totes I wanted to move that day. I have. <laughs> yeah. But still, I, it just got tiring moving constantly stuff. And mm -hmm. again, with this, if once we get to the back build out with shelves and cabinets and get a tongue bo toolbox on the tongue, we really hope to reduce that considerably and make camping for us more enjoyable. Again, this 
this isn't for everybody and we haven't done it either so we're not sure if it's really for us but we're open to it and we're going to give it a try yes okay so i got off topic there a little bit i went off script no, it's, fine. it's okay <laughs> <laughs> i went off script but uh yeah as you were saying here this is this, yes um this is just short term uh, we know that we can sell it um at a reasonable price whenever we're ready um we're when we retire we want to buy an rv camper we're not for sure exactly what we're going to buy yet but we have some things in mind uh we want to be comfortable in of course so yeah. um, uh, but we want to enjoy we want to keep traveling we want to travel as long as we can yeah so. our long-term goal is to see all 50 states we're yes. up to 35 uh but there's some that larita's been to that i haven't been to right. and vice versa and if we're going to do all 50 I think we still need another 20, 21, something like that. And, the, and even when you visit all these states, there's still things that you don't get to do. So yeah. we will probably go back to these yeah, states some, to see things that we didn't get to do or see. Oh, yeah. There's there's so. definitely some places that we've been to. Uh, Eureka Springs, Arkansas comes yeah, to mind. Love the, the Badlands, of, not Badlands, but the uh, Black Hills of South Dakota. Oh, we love South would, Dakota. <laughs> would love to go back to all those places again. So that's on our bucket list. And our goal once we retire is to travel much more. Right. So with that in mind, we will probably move into a larger RV at that time of some type, shape, form, fashion. <laughs> Class C pulling the Jeep. Oh my lord, yes, he's right. We'll see. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, so the next thing, uh, oh, the, okay. the teardrop at, at, well, the Wii Roll that we bought, we, it's, we looked at other RVs, like what Rita was saying earlier. We looked at, uh, not RVs, but teardrops. We looked at some of, some that were much more expensive, but at the price point of the Wero, we hope that we will be able to recover at least 50% of our investment yes. once we go to sell it, maybe a little more. And that's really not too bad uh, mm -mm. compared to the other options out there. Wow. So this, again, this, this will be probably temporary, but it's what, the direction we wanted to go at this time. Yeah. We're gonna try and see how it, how it works out. I yeah. mean, that's the only way you know. If you don't try, you don't know. So. Yeah, it's not for everybody. It, it may not be for us, but that's what people said when we started tent camping. Hey, I know, right? They said, y'all in a tent camp? I was like, yeah, we're gonna try it. <laughs> and guess what? We loved it. <laughs> and one of the very first camping trips we went on when we got back into it this past fall, we went uh, to a campsite in North Alabama. There was a couple much older than us. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of campsites down. They had one of the teardrops we had been discussing. And the lady spoke to us one morning, so we stopped and talked to her. And one of the first things she said, still haven't forgotten this, almost a year later, she said, I didn't want another house to, to clean. keep clean. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. She said, I wanted a bed on wheels and a place to cook breakfast and make coffee. And then say the adventure. We roll, guys. I want. Yeah, there you go. We want. Nah, I want something a little more off roadish. <laughs> I, I, I like that lifestyle. And, um, and see, I'm going to try it with you. So. <laughs> I want something that that mm -hmm. we can disperse camp, hopefully. That, again, it's a bed on wheels. We can make breakfast and make coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and I think. We're, we're happy with it. I mean, again, we haven't stayed in it. We will be uh, taking the maiden voyage next month. Mm -hmm. And we've already got a place picked out. So, so we're <laughs> in the process now of doing a few things to it just to get it a little more To livable. what we want. Yeah. Comfortable. Right. Again, it's not going to be a full-blown, oh, wow, this is home and garden. Right. But it, it's, it's going to work. It's going to... We make it more enjoyable for us to go camping. That's right. So if you look at this, you have questions, hopefully we haven't bored you to tears rambling on. Yeah, there's a comment section underneath the YouTube 
You can uh, leave your comments there. Any questions you have about us, the We Roll, or anything, just leave a comment and we will get to it. Yeah. Until then. So, until then, happy camping. Happy. And make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs>